uh, let me get to the vote itself and the huge turnout. Just give us first your reaction. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, indeed, it was surprising, uh, despite the fact that, as you mentioned, uh, coronavirus, uh, social distancing, and also the fact that the new national security law is now in place. Uh, don't forget the constitutional minister uh, made allegations last week, uh, a few days before the primary took place, that such primary could be, maybe, uh, violating uh, clauses of the national security law, although without giving any evidence. And the night before the primary, a uh, police uh, searched the office of the organizers. Uh, so people were, were concerned whether people would turn out. Um, there are some residents who expressed uh, uh, worries that they might be breaching the new security law. But again, uh, Hong Kong people were brave enough uh, to step out and uh, make a voice heard. Given what you've said, how concerned are you that whether you or other Democratic candidates will actually be allowed to run for elections on, in September? Uh, anything could happen. Uh, right now, the government still has no clear uh, standard uh, as to whether they will disqualify people and how are they going to disqualify people based on what evidence. Uh, again, this is unclear. This is absolutely discretional. Um, this is, of course, very wrong. Are you concerned about being going beyond being disqualified? Are you concerned about being detained or arrested? Um, of course, anybody who stands in politics right now, especially in the opposition camp, uh, could get arrested, let alone get disqualified from running. Um, I mean, this is beyond a concern already because anything could happen again. Uh, it's not up to us. As far as we do our things, uh, we get our things done. Um, it's out of our control and it's entirely up to the Hong Kong government and Beijing to decide. So a turnout of over, over 600,000 people uh, at the ballot box, you're expecting just a fraction of that. This is really kind of seen as a, a proxy referendum on the national security law, right? But beyond that, I'm wondering what, what powers for dissent actually remain for the people of Hong Kong who want to make their opinions heard? Um, you see, under the coronavirus, the government is using all these excuses to stop people from coming to protest. Um, it's impossible to even put up a banner that the government deemed uh, uh, wrong or illegal. Um, and so people took this opportunity to make their voice heard. And I'm sure Hong Kong people are wise and smart enough. Um, they know when they can do things. And now when we're talking about this uh, primary election, is there's absolutely uh, nothing illegal at all. And so people took this, grab this opportunity and make sure that, hey, we're talking about 600,000 people. It's not a small number. Uh, and remember, this is not an election organized by government. It's organized by the civil society. And so this is amazing. What do you or other Democratic candidates plan to do if you're not allowed to run in the elections in September? Um, of course, it depends on the scale of people got disqualified. Um, and again, we will make sure that people will still vote uh, for, the, for, the, for the opposition. Um, from my personal point of view, I think a voice is a voice. It remains an important uh, value in the legis Legislative Council. Uh, anybody who speaks on behalf of the opposition to speak the truth remains extremely important.